Um, I think Maria is going to do a little teamwork with me on the introduction, right? You want to do a little, or okay? So um, <coughs> our team plan. So I think the big thing I want to start off with is uh, Bill has given a lot of dedication and time to this community, to the department. He started as uh, uh, from Woodville, I like to say, as his uh, hometown area, and uh, spent a lot of time building fire trucks. He was recognized as a talented mechanical guy, uh, picked up by our community, and uh, I want to welcome him in and uh, give thanks to him for the third time in a few weeks here as we've been trying to celebrate his, uh, his departure. Celebration class, fatigue. Thank you very much. Uh, Maria has a few words I think she wants to pass along or no? You want me to do it? Um. Yeah, so I mean, I'll, I, I guess I should okay. give Maria was kind enough to give me some things to say. So, uh, so Bill, let's see. So his history: thirty-three years on the on the uh, on the fire department in total. Yes. Yep. Began uh, working on fire trucks. Actually, became a call firefighter in nineteen eighty-three. Transitioned to a career firefighter in nineteen eighty-nine. Correct. And uh, and uh, apparently, it's in the uh, in the family blood, right? Your yes. Well. It, it all started back when my grandfather had the business in town here. Okay. At one time, there was three actual three manufacturers of fire apparatus, um, and he, his was one of them. Uh, and um, so in I Woodville? got what's that in Woodville? In Woodville, on Winter Street, right where uh, Eddie Murphy oh, okay. has a place now. Of course, now it's Bulldog Fire uh, Apparatus. But okay. yeah, we um, I started as a as a youngster <laughs> and going to my grandfather's shop and saying, "Oh boy, this is going to be great." And I thought it was going to be my life, but it didn't turn out that way because, but I did get to meet some interesting people, some fire chiefs, some, which kind of, you know, I saw how they did things and what they did. And I'm like, wow, this is interesting. So Arthur Stewart, when he was chief in town, he uh, came to the shop one day and said, oh, he says, um, my spies tell me that you want to get on the fire department. I said, yeah. And then I didn't hear nothing. I'm like, all right, well, wait a minute. So it took a little bit, and then um, one day he says, hey, he says, come on up to the drill tonight. We're going to have a drill. So all right, I'm like, here I am. I don't, know what, I don't know what's going on, you know. So I went up there with the Engine 2 crew, and we, uh, we practiced and did some stuff. And uh, then he says, yeah, you're, you're officially on the fire department. Oh, okay. So that's, that's my beginnings. And then I enjoyed helping people and... Uh, my, my two brothers were on the department as well, um, and it, it was, it was, it's a great career. It certainly is, um, knowing that you can go out and help somebody, um, even if it's just to say hi. I mean, in the last few years, we've been able to get out in the community. Um, people have come up and said hi, and, this, and it's, it's really cool. So it's, it's an interesting career. Um, I, I, I just hope that the, my colleagues stay safe. For their entire careers, um, I was, you know, I, I could consider myself lucky to, not that we had any big fires, but whether it's a fire in Boston, Woodville, or Hopkinton, it's all the same. It doesn't matter. I mean, they just have more guys that they can throw at it at the same time. Um, but that, that's it. That's all in a nutshell, and I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate working for the town. Um, I, to the citizens, thank you very much for a lifetime career. Thank you. That's wonderful. And I think we have a little on behalf of a grateful town. You can, oh, yes. we have. Go ahead, Norman. Yes, on, on behalf of town and our staff, we want to thank you for 33 years of service. Uh, and we have a wonderful gift card at the Blissful Meadows Golf Club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy it.